Hi, Wyatt and Zayden. I miss you guys. How's it going being in the house a lot? Do you get to go outside and play sometimes? Do you get to go draw with sidewalk chalk? Have you been out to play in the snow? There's a lot of snow today, isn't there? Well, I miss you guys so much. So I decided I would read you a story from afar. So even though you can't get to the library and I can't get to the library, we could still have little story times together. So I decided to read you a book called Bark George. This book doesn't have a regular cover on it because it got torn when my girls were really little. In fact, you can see how my Haley colored on the book. You're not supposed to color on books, are you? But she didn't know that. She was so little. But this is called Bark George because George is the name of the dog. Whoop, more scribbles from Haley. Silly Haley. Here's George. Here we go. Bark, George. So this is George, and this is George's mama. George's mother said, hmm, what do you think she says? She says, bark, George. George went, meow. Wait a minute. Is that what dogs say? Is that a bark? No. What kind of animal says meow? That's right, a kitty says meow. No, George, said George's mother. Cats go meow, dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went quack quack. Is that what dogs say? No. No, George, said George's mother. Dogs or ducks go quack quack. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went boink. Uh-oh. Looks like his mom's already getting a little frustrated. How do you think she's going to feel when he makes a sound like a like a what? What kind of animal makes the oink sound? Pigs. No, George, said George's mother. Pigs go oink. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. She's getting a little angry. George went moo. Uh-oh, I think George might be getting in trouble. So, George's mother took him to the vet. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, said the vet. Please bark, George. George said, meow. The vet reached deep down inside of, a jo inside of George and pulled out a, who is that? A cat, the vet pulled out a cat. Bark again, George. George went quack quack. The vet reached deep, deep down inside of George and pulled out a, what is that? He pulled out a duck. Bark again, George. George went, oink. The vet reached deep, deep, deep down inside of George and pulled out a pig. Bark again, George, said the vet. George went, moo. The vet pulled on his longest latex glove and he reached deep, 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 deep down inside of George and pulled out a cow. Oh my goodness. How do you think George got a cow inside of him? That's pretty silly. Bark again, George. George went, Arf, arf, arf. 
Oh my gosh. How do you think the doctor and the mama are feeling? They're so happy. George's mother was so thrilled that she kissed the vet and the cat and the duck and the pig and the cow. On the way home, she wanted to show George off to everyone on the street. So she said, bark, George. And George went. What do you think? Do you think he's going to arf? Is he going to bark? George went. Hello. Oh my goodness, George. People say hello, not dogs. The end of Bark George. Well, Wyatt and Zayden, I miss you guys so much. Big hugs to both of you and give your mama a big hug and kiss for me. And we will talk very soon. Let me know if you like this book. And if you want, I'll send you more videos. I love you. Bye.